Hey everybody, thanks for joining today's NTOP Live. My name is Christopher Cho, Senior Application Engineer at NTOPology, and today's session will be a quick introduction to the new meshing capabilities for lattice structures and complex geometry. Even though we already have other meshing approaches and strategies that already exist within Entopology today, the new approach using the mesh from Implicit by Voxels block seeks to combine the best of both worlds in terms of mesh quality and speed of generation. Today, I'm going to be showcasing this block on two geometry types commonly created in Entopology. The first is this topology-optimized result that has smooth, machining-intended interfaces, as well as contoured and organic geometry that we expect to maintain as an as-built shape from an additive manufacturing build process. Regardless of intended post-process, if this part is being additively manufactured, the need to generate a 3D printable manifold mesh is quite important for downstream usage. 3D slicing software has a wide range of acceptability when it comes to mesh quality. Some software packages can be very tolerant to imperfect meshes, while others demand a very stringent criteria when it comes to mesh integrity. Some slicers can handle very large file sizes, while others begin to falter when STLs begin to exceed 50 megabytes in size. Some slicers can also make approximations if a mesh is not manifold, but other slicers may refuse to make those approximations without the designer's intent. Regardless of what machine and slicing software you end up using, Entopology's goal is to output the highest quality mesh in the least amount of time and package that into the smallest file size possible. And the new mesh from Implicit by Voxels block is another big step in that direction. Looking at this topology optimized part here, I can put a deviation tolerance of 1.0 and expect this result to have a high degree of accuracy while still completing in a short amount of time. Now we'll give this a few seconds to run. And if we open up the console log, we're going to be able to see that this took about 18 seconds to run. What's great about this new block is that it still fits inside of our existing meshing ecosystem, where we can still use our mesh simplification or refinement blocks to use this mesh as our springboard and create an even more efficient result. With this simplified mesh by amount block, I can target a triangle reduction of something like 50%, so plugging in a value of 0.5 gives me a triangle count of about 404,000 in this new result. So we'll give that a few seconds to run. And we're going to see that we hit 404,762, and this is down from the original 809,000. So this reduction process impacts the ultimate file size when it's exported as an STL, OBJ, or 3MF, but it still maintains the profile of this complex and organic shape. Switching over to this other example here, we have this osseo integrative lattice that was generated using the same mesh from implicit body by voxels block, but because we are trying to capture beam thicknesses that are about 400 microns in diameter, it takes a little bit longer to run. However, if we do look at the properties of this generated mesh, we can see that it fits our criteria of being manifold, the triangles are oriented in an expected direction, and the minimum self-intersecting specification has been met. But this is obviously going to be a very large mesh with a lot of triangles, and ultimately a large file size as well. Because this part design has a significantly larger surface area than our previous topology optimized result, this is somewhat expected. Still, this file size might pose a problem for our downstream manufacturing process, so we can simplify this mesh as we have already done. We targeted a 75% reduction in triangle count. So we've plugged in 0.75 as the value to simplify it by. And we can see in our properties that our mesh integrity criteria has still been met. Now because this is a triangle based mesh, you as an N topology user have the option to export this mesh into an STL, OBJ, or 3MF file format. Though it technically does not make a difference which format you choose when it comes to geometry representation, we definitely encourage the usage of the 3MF file format if your downstream processes and workflow allow for it. 3MF files have proven to be a significantly smaller file size in practically every single use case, so taking advantage of it when you have the chance to is really highly recommended. From design to output, and topology offers not just a variety of ways to control aspects of your part design process, but also a variety of ways to control how your design will be optimized for end topology egress into a manufacturable mesh file. 
Obviously, what I've shown you today is not intended as a be-all and end-all solution when it comes to mesh generation. There are many ways to go about this within the software, and this is merely an example of some of our newest capabilities. Thank you for tuning into the showcase of what Entopology can offer to your design process. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing what you can make using Entopology.